The Ultramarines chapter has a long history of producing some of the Imperium's greatest heroes. Even amongst such august company, Marnius Calga stands tall, for few figures in the last ten thousand years have commanded as much respect, and few have won so many crucial victories in the Emperor's name. Marnius Augustus Calga is not only a consummate warrior, but also a highly talented strategist. Since rising to the rank of chapter master, he has employed his flair for tactics in campaigns without number. He does not throw his men uselessly at the foe, for he understands that while victories may begin with the general, it is the troops that carry the day. Kalga's men follow him not merely out of duty, but out of the unshakable loyalty that his presence inspires. There are few battles he has taken part in where he has not led from the front, slamming into the enemy's lines when the endgame of his strategy becomes imminent. As Lord Macrag, Kalga's wisdom is law throughout Ultramar, but his decisions also set the precedent for the Ultramarines and their successor chapters. Such immense responsibility has long weighed heavily upon Kalga, though not nearly as heavily as that moment when his duty was effectively taken away. When the Adeptus Astartes were bolstered by a great influx of Gilliman's Primaris Marines, many of the traditional Space Marines feared obsolescence. It was Kalga who integrated the Space Marine chapters with the newly assigned brethren of the Primaris Marines, both physically and spiritually. Despite his own misgivings, he was the first to undergo the extremely risky surgery required to transform a traditional Space Marine into a Primaris Marine, and he died during the procedure, though after agonizing minutes he, like Gilliman, was returned to life. That noble sacrifice, that martyrdom in the name of progress, showed a new way for the Space Marines of the future. Calga thereafter donned the armor of Heracles, a revolutionary adaptation of the iconic armor of Antilochus. He launched the counter-invasion of the Xenos-tainted planet of Vigilus, with the veteran warriors Lethro Ados and Nemus Adranus, two of his most trusted aides from the Indomitus Crusade's Victrix Guard, always at his side. Already hand-picked by the Primarch to fight amongst the rarefied ranks of the Victrix Honor Guard, these heroes had the further honor of guarding the chapter master with their lives. Of course, Calga is more than capable of defending himself. Armed with the gauntlets of Ultramar, paired power fists fitted with deadly bolters, he can smash through foes in close combat as well as cut them down at distance with contemptuous ease. The chapter master wields these weapons with great pride, symbols as they are of the Ultramarine's might, authority and role as martial protectors of all the peoples of Ultramar and the wider Imperium both. There are few foes of humanity that Calga has not faced down. He defeated the Swarm Lord at the Battle of Ekartha IV. He single-handedly held the gate against waves of orcs at the Siege of Zalathras. He defeated an Eldari Avatar at the Battle for Aura's Sepulchre, all before undertaking the arduous process of crossing the Rubicon Primaris. Now, with his strategic brilliance wedded to his powerful Primaris physique, it seems likely that the Chapter Master of the Ultramarines will achieve yet greater glories and inspire his battle. Brothers to reach new heights.